everybody. I'm Alana with Blind Cat Rescue. Thank you for watching. We're doing boxes. Today is September the 4th, 2015. This is Miss um, Molly with me. Good, Molly Good Golly. She's a little blind kitty who's been here for many years with us. You that don't know who we are, we are a lifetime care sanctuary for blind, FIV, and leukemia positive kitties. We're located in North Carolina. Um, typically, we start boxes off with news about the cats. Uh, we do have a new cat. We decided to name him Midnight. He's a beautiful black panther. Um, he's been fixed. He is leukemia positive. Right now, we're waiting for him to clear quarantine before he'll be able to go into the leukemia positive room. He came to us because his owner had, is very elderly. She's going into a nursing home. She's been living, actually, as an outside kitty. And um, the sister got involved and was terribly concerned for all the cats. So she managed to find placements for everybody, including this one. So that's how he ended up with us. Um, she was getting desperate at this point. And she promised to sponsor him for the rest of his life. <laughs> that helped. She gave me the financial resources to take care of him. We are a nonprofit. We depend entirely on donations. And I really should turn the air conditioner off. I just realized that. No, and actually here. Sorry. Um, yeah, we are a nonprofit. We do depend entirely on donations. So her donation obviously helped us give the give us the resources to take care of them. Um, as y'all can see, Shelly is back from the hospital. She's got severe asthma. She just had a dickens of a time getting her asthma under control. She's doing much better. Um, let's see who else. Autumn's doing well. Autumn has cancer, but she's doing well. Boots has got cancer, he's also doing well. Wi-Fi got the, the wire out of his chin from holding his jaw together after being hit by a car. I got to pull stitches and that's not being pleasant because he does not find it amusing how things done. But they're not ready to come out for another few more days. Um, who am I missing? That's Christina. Holly's okay. Holly's doing all right. Doesn't think, seem to enjoy having fluids, but you know. <laughs> That's about all that's been anywhere. Well, for you guys watching this, we broadcast live 24 hours a day. We're live on Roku. We're live on Ustream. That's where you're, this is being recorded from. So you can watch the cats every single day. The camera moves every day to a different room. So if you happen to sponsor a kitty, once a week you'll get to watch your cat's room and probably get to see your cat interacting. Um, today is just a plain blind room. This is pretty much a sedate room. This room is pretty quiet. Most of the cats are older in here. Tomorrow is the crazy kitty room on Saturday. They're nuts. They run wheels and pretty much run you over. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the boxes. The boxes are gifts from our wonderful supporters like you who are watching. Amazon never ever gives us your contact information. Often they don't even put packing slips in. So please don't think we're rude when we don't thank you. It's not because we're trying to be rude. It's because we have no way of knowing how to contact you. We do post it on our blog. We also post it on Facebook. Facebook's hiding most of our posts from you. You really need to try to subscribe to our newsletter. You can find a link to it on Facebook. You can also find a link to it on our, our homepage, blindcatrescue.org or .com. Either one will get you to the same place. So sign up for our newsletter that gives you the updates of what's going on, gives you stories about the cats, gives you educational stuff about nutrition and health of, of cats. We also have our, our new shirt fundraiser. It's a real pretty one. It has pictures of the cats on the front. It says we see with our heart and all our eyes. Um, that all the net proceeds for that will be going towards our spay neuter program, which I'm so excited to say we just passed the 1,000 mark. So we've done 1,003 cats, still marching on towards 1,500. I don't know that we're going to make it, but we're going to come in close. So if you'd like to donate to help us with our spay neuter program, we'd be very, very grateful. Every cat that gets fixed will prevent thousands of homeless cats from being born. So let's see what's in the boxes. I can tell you we did receive a couple air conditioners today. These air conditioners run so much. We're in a fairly hot, hot area, very humid very dusty so the air conditioners we did good to get a full year out of them we might get some into the spring but i can guarantee you by next spring we'll have, we'll have to replace pretty much most of the air conditioners um so we did receive three air conditioners 
They're coming with no packing slips, no names whatsoever. So if you send an air conditioner, thank you very, very much. You're helping give us the resources to be able to give the cats quality care. And it'll help keep them cool when, as we have to replace the air conditioner. I guarantee you, we'll have to do it. name of this one. This one's from Ann Shaw. Ann Shaw. Ann sent us fabric balls. They are really cool. They're pure wool natural dryer balls. You put them in your dryer and it's supposed to help um, prevent static buildup. We get a lot of static in the wintertime. The cats will walk around with their hair standing up and they really hate it when we shock them. We're trying to get less chemicals because the little cats like Shelly Angel is an asthmatic, Shelly's an asthmatic, Snicker and Champs are both asthmatic. We're trying to get away from the chemicals as much as we can. So these are cool because there's no chemicals. And supposedly dries, helps the drying time of 25%. Somebody told me you have to put all of them. Or it says you put all of these in a load. Wow. All six balls. These are really cool though. The big wool balls. So thank you. Uh, thank you very, very much, Ann. That's very, very much appreciated. And she sent us food. We go through 120 cases of wet food every single month. We have 95 mouths to feed, and they like food. So we can never, ever have too much food. We also go through 60 boxes of Fresh Step every single month. Now, this morning, Fresh Step was on sale on, at on uh, Amazon. Um, they like to change the price on it. If you see it above twelve dollars, don't touch it. Give them a day; they'll drop it back to nine ninety-five with Prime free delivery. I looked at it the other day; it was thirty dollars. I was like, "You gotta be kidding!" I priced it at thirty-one before. Well, yeah, but you know, it's not. They're not paying that if I take it off the minute I see that kind of price. Nine ninety-five. Yeah, that's just absurd. That's just wrong. Wrong so I'll break them all down after. And you have proved it once. I sprayed it in my mouth. Yeah, it doesn't taste very good. Uh, but there's no heavy duty chemicals and smells to hurt cats. So we're trying, like I said, we're trying to go with as much natural ingredients and cleaning ingredients as we can. And with the murals and the plexiglass, we have to be very, very careful. Or we'll scratch. And this is the product we can use. So thank you very, very much for the sense of glass. Oh, that's heavy. It means it. <laughs> She found a home locally. Yay! I'm so happy, Laura. That's wonderful. We do share blind cats that are needing homes all over the United States on our Facebook page. Um, sadly, reality is we cannot save them all. It's just reality. We do have a fundraiser to be building another building so we can provide care and sanctuary for a few more blind cats and for more leukemia positive cats. But it'll probably be late next year before that building happens. Laura, thank you very much. She sent us food. I've heard you say earlier, we go 120 cases of it. Can't have too much. So thank you very, very, very much for the food. That's appreciated. We do ask 
ask everybody, we encourage everybody, I get often asked about adopting our cats. We don't adopt. We are a lifetime care sanctuary. I get asked why. Well, we do it because so many of these cats have had so many placements. Little Angel here has had five that we can document before she came to us. Not because there's anything wrong with her, it's actually wrong with humans. Um, you know, her original owner dumped her, she dumped the town, she went to another shelter, she went to a foster home, she went to a different foster home, she went to a different rescue. I mean, it was just crazy. Once they come to us, they finally have what nobody else has given them forever. And that's the one promise we make them, is that we will take care of them for the rest of their life. They have a home. So I beg you, if you're thinking about adopting a cat, go to your local animal shelter, to your local county shelter. They're over full. Most county shelters are a kill shelter, and they're forced to use the knife while they're not forced. They choose not to. They run out of space. Plain and simple. They need homes. So you literally would be saving a life. And this smells good. So I wonder what's in here. Oh! Nut holes! We have dryer sheets. We have no name, no package left. We have some more dryer sheets. These are awesome. These will help with our static situation with the wool balls done. Found the wool balls, I'm going to put this on the list. No, I can't get it back in. Thank you, whoever sends all these dryer sheets. Well, hi, Penny. Sweet Penny here, sitting next to me, a little white cat. It's both blind and deaf. She's been with us for many years. She was found outside, living as an outside cat. She's declawed, by the way, also. So a declawed, blind, and deaf cat living outside. So she has a home forever with us. Penny's favorite place is to be high up in the air. She likes to climb climbers. So often, we can't find a window, look up. That's, that's where she's going to be. Oh, by the way, I do have a surprise for you guys, but I'm not allowed to. Oh, that ain't be nice. I'm not allowed to tell you the whole surprise yet. But regarding Jackson, stay tuned for an announcement. We do have a date for him coming, but until they announce, they ask us not to tell you which day it is. But if you'd like to come to our open houses, I promise if you're coming to one, not in October, not in September, um, good chance you'll get to see Jackson. That's when they're supposed to be coming to do the catification. Like I said, I'm not allowed to give you the dates. It's not official yet. It's not 100% set in stone yet. But that's the good probability. Deborah Zinka, Z I C H A. Deborah Zinka, Z I C H A. She sent us food. Case of food. Thank you. This is the new Ein's food that they have. Called perfect delicious. No gluten, corn, wheat, or soy. A lot of people ask us why don't we feed the cheap um, kibbles and bits, that kind of food. We're not doing it to be difficult, I promise you. Corn, number one, is not good for cats, but we have cats with grain allergies. We have cats with dye allergies. We have cats with serious immune deficiencies. We try to feed the best quality possible with no grains because that's not good for them. No byproducts, because trust me, if you were to look that one up, you wouldn't eat it. Um, so we do try to be the highest quality possible to try to prevent a lot of the health problems that the cheaper foods will cause for some of these cats, especially for our leukemia cats. I mean, their coral immune systems are already so compromised. We have to do something to help them. The last box. This one's heavy, so I'm curious. Well, the way for you guys who like to chat with us on Ustream Dream Boxes, I have no screen. I cannot see you. So I'm not going to see anything you're saying. I promise when we get done recording, I will talk to you. I have no name. I have no pack and slip. I have a big suspicion of the census, though. We have a sweet angel who sent us a whole bunch of cat litter yesterday. And I bet you she's guilty of this one, too. If you have a cat that has a lot of problems with diarrhea or irritable bowel, Try switching to this food just for grins and giggles. It's instinct, limited ingredients. This is rabbit. My vet told me a secret for cats like that. If they'll switch to a product that they've never eaten in their life, rabbit, venison, 
kangaroo if you're in the United States. Kangaroo, they may be common in like New Zealand, it's not here. Um, the body stops fighting and you will take a diarrhea pad and good probability of stop the diarrhea. It's made a huge difference with a couple of our irritable bowel cats. So if you've got a cat with irritable bowel, you can get the stuff on Amazon. It's pricey, but you know, <laughs> it takes care of the problem. It's worth every time of it. Um, so I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. Thank you so very much for your support and for everything you do. Don't forget, oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, you can still rise and up there. Go. <laughs> she forgot to bring the camera down. Uh, we won the, the $1,000 weekly prize on the um, Animal Rescue Site contest. Thank you so very much for voting. Don't forget to click. Please share our videos. Um, the articles that we post and so forth, please click those silly videos. They pay us. They pay us if you share it. They pay us if you watch it. So take a second. Some of the videos are really very funny, very, very cute. And uh, if you watch our YouTube channel, we do have ads on there. If you don't mind clicking the silly things, they pay us too. It's a cheap, easy way for 